beautiful people. My name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day. And today we're going to be testing out the world's most beautiful makeup brand and that is Fluorasis. Now I have tested Fluorasis once on my channel before and it was really fun just testing out the products and seeing what I thought for the first impressions since I've just heard how beautiful the brand is. Today we're going to do that again and for the first time I'm testing out one of their contour face palettes which is just so beautiful as well as an eyeshadow palette lip products and all that stuff so i'm excited i hope you guys are excited today's video is sponsored by foresa so i want to thank them so much for working with me but that has not influenced my opinions this is my first impressions you guys i'm going to test it out tell you what i think what i'm feeling and talk about how beautiful the packaging is because is because it's just so pretty but anyways let's go ahead and get started i'm going to show you all the products before we dive into the like try on portion all right so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to show you everything i have to try out before we get into the testing so i have some porcelain lipsticks you guys they come in these cute little boxes like everything is very well themed for them but it's actually a porcelain tube and that is absolutely like super extravagant. I don't know, there's something super luxurious about that. So here is the tube. Look how pretty. There's like, it's very hard to tell on camera because it's white on white. However, there's like a light detailing of like a lacy floral pattern in here with a Floracis little logo. And then on the actual lipstick itself, there is this gorgeous pattern. And it's, it's just so intricate. Like I don't know how they do that because lipstick's very soft and delicate. I feel like something that intricate would break but they didn't, so I have two of the porcelain lipsticks. We also have one of their lip creams that we tried before. This is a velvety color holding lip glaze. I tried one of these last time I tried Fluorasis products, and I really like the color. And then the tubes, the packaging is super pretty. And then this is the color. Very pretty red ambery color. Okay, next up we have two palettes. The face one, this face contour palette, Oh my gosh. So here's the packaging. Lovely, beautiful, stunning. <laughs> and then when you open it up, here is the inside of the contour palette, you guys. If it's not like the most intricate, beautiful, most stunning thing you've ever seen. So here it is up close. Look at all that detail. So we have a contour shade, more of a regular beige, could be used as a light shimmer moment, a blush shade, and also another one that could be used as like kind of more of a highlighty area. I'd probably put this under like a brow bone, just for a little bit of light without being like super shimmery looking. Oh, this looks so pretty. This one's like my favorite thing. When I opened this out of the box, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I got to use this today. It just feels so beautiful. We also have an eyeshadow palette. We tested an eyeshadow palette last time, but this is a different one. They are really expanding their products and they have so many on their website. This has this pop of blue in it that is just such a rich blue. It's starting to trick me because I know it's a neutral palette with like some warm tones, but this blue is just like, it's the smallest pan, but it's like mm, catching my attention. So here it is up close, beautiful, intricate detail. And these colors are really pretty. Also, I see an icy white shade and you know I'm here for that. So those are the palettes. Also, we have this big cleanser. The cleanser is actually really beautiful. So it will be a... We'll insert a clip later of me testing out this cleanser for the first time. It has a beautiful like leaf stem in here as the like suctiony tube, which is a different kind of detail you don't see. And it's also made of a plastic, so you're not gonna break it. It's not overly heavy as far as shipping goes. Let's talk about the other lip care products now. So there's three like lip care products I wanted to talk about. The first one is a lip primer. So you can put this on before you put on your lipstick or lip product or before you like do anything to your lips. So here is the lip primer. I'm going to go ahead and put this on because my lips are a little dry. This is super, super smooth. A little bit on like the wet side, but not sticky at all, which is nice. So this is the lip primer. The next thing we have is a little lip scrub, which I love a lip scrub, you guys. I cannot stand like because I look, I love liquid lipsticks, right? I cannot stand. <laughs> some crusty skin on my lips because then I feel like my lipstick's gonna look terrible since I do have dry lipstick. So here is the little lip scrub and this little spatula comes off which is cute. It's like a little magnet and then here is what the lip scrub looks like. It doesn't look like anything in particular but you can see in there there's like little tiny balls for the exfoliation factor and I just think the little pot's cute and then I put this back in here and it's precious, isn't it? Lastly, I wanna talk about a balm. So look at this. Okay, first of all, cute thing. Then on the side, we have a little, little spatula again. 
This has like the cutest little handle on it to open it up. And then here is the balm itself. Just a little balm and a little uh, spatula to dispense it out with. Like scoop your little bit out so you don't put your fingers in there and get your like bacteria all in the little pot here. This is very heavy though. Like it's a heavy like luxurious looking little spatula. So my face is feeling very flat and not <laughs> not very defined today because I just have foundation on. So let's do the face palette now. So again, beautiful. I'm gonna use the contour shade. I'm actually very happy that this contour shade doesn't pull too warm. Like it is a little bit deep, so I think it's gonna fit different skin tones. So it's probably better for more like a fair maybe, or like not an affair, I'm a fair. Maybe like more like a medium, but I think I can make it work. Just, you know, dip lighter into the pans. So I'm gonna do some this little weird contour brush. And for my Sigma brush set, I'm gonna tap in here on the side because I don't want it to be too much. And I'm gonna use the mirror from this palette and I'm just going to contour with it. And everybody's been putting their contour more high up lately. I've been trying, but it's hard because I feel like everything blends into one. So here is with the contour shade, really defines my cheekbone line and this is without. How people are skipping contour these days, I'll never know because I am still obsessed with it. I think it's pivotal to my face. Like I have a very round face. I need contour to help shape and define it. And I think it's just super, super important. Oof, looks so good. And I'm also gonna put it on the sides of my nose for a little bit more dimension. And then of course, y'all know, we need to pretend we have one chin today. So I'm going to just contour under here. Going in with a big fluffy brush for the blush. Now I'm going to go right into this top shade right here. Tap off any excess. I'm going to put that right on top of my contour. Just for a little bit of flush. So here is with blush. Here is without. I just like to show you the before and after of it. This is one of those universal colors that's going to look good on anyone as far as blush goes. And then I don't think this is going to be super, super highlighted, but I'm going to take this shade anyways, just to see what kind of glow we get with it. Ooh, wow. It's metallic. It's more like a sheen from within more than like a glitter or something. And I'm just going to put this everywhere I highlight. Really beautiful. And I'm also not messing up the imprint in the pan too badly either, which is nice considering how beautiful it is. Here's Akasha. <laughs> She's a baby cat, baby cat. She's very noisy and there's a lot of noise outside too. So my lips feel very moisturized still from that like primer. Feels nice and very smooth. Let's do the eyeshadow now. We're gonna do a neutral look. Let's do a neutral eye look. Since majority of this is kind of neutrals and warms and that pop of blue, which looks beautiful. And then we're gonna do like a red lip because we have the red lip products. I think it's just gonna make everything pop and look really pretty. I think it's gonna look good with my hair too. So let's do a neutral look. Let's take Let's do this shade right here. Let's go warm, but not like overwhelmingly warm. And let's put this in my crease. Also, you guys, while I have you here, let's talk about my weird day, you guys. Like there's something in the air that's, I don't know if it's good or a bad thing, but something's up. Last night at 3 a.m., the lights in this room, in the office, are controlled by a Luska, you know, the device. So we have to tell her to turn on the office to get the lights to come on, right? It happened at 3 a.m. by themselves. We woke up and I was like, why is there lights on? And there was a lights on in here without us talking to the device to get it to cut on at 3 a.m. Never happened before. And it there's two bulbs in this room so it's not just like one bulb right only cut on both of them cut on which is very odd and then earlier today maybe like an hour or two ago a big picture it's a crematorium picture eternal flame crematorium picture i have above our couch that's been up there for months now just randomly decided to fall off the walls i was i was thinking optimistically we're gonna get this house soon so i took the two little pictures from the sides of the image, like not even touching it, they were like separately. We have this two on the sides, only the one crematorium side in the middle. I took the two side ones off the other day and then today randomly, I guess that other one didn't like being left out and it randomly fell off the wall by itself. Middle of the day, I'm the only one here. 
off of two nails. It wasn't just one in the center, there was two. I don't know how that happened. And that being the same day that the lights cut on in this room and the thing, I'm like, is this a vibe? Like, is this supposed to be like a, this is weird, get out of this apartment, buy a house? Or is it like, no, you're making a bad decision buying a house, stay here. And what is the universe trying to tell me with both of those weird things? Because I have no idea, especially happening in the same day. Anyways, I'm gonna take this darker shade now, just to darken up our outer corner a little bit. I'm gonna out darken up this outer, like little V. I always call it the little V here. It's just where your eyelid, your eye socket you can feel. Just wanna darken that up a little. So here's with it and here's without. Looks nice. I'm not trying to go overwhelming on the eyes again with that red lip we're gonna do. I don't wanna be too much. But warm on warm with this cool tone hair I think might be really cute as well. Now I'm torn because I love a gold and this blue is actually calling my name too. But I think I'm going to use this white shade in the center for my lid moment. I'm just going to pat this all over the lid. It's a nice shimmer. Very pretty. Nice pigmentation too. It's not see-through. Okay, speaking of like paranormal things and weird experiences and stuff, I thought I had a really good joke at the estate sale on Saturday. And you know, the fact that Cortland didn't think it was funny really hurt my feelings. I have a dark sense of humor. So we went to an estate sale and there was a line outside and it was just very quiet. No one was talking, right? There was probably 20 people there and it was very quiet and there was like no noise outside either. So Cortland's like, wow, it's eerily quiet here. And I was like, yeah, it's almost like someone died. And you know, I know that's a dark sense of humor joke, but like literally, <laughs> That's why everyone's there is because someone died and I thought it was funny and you guys might not find it funny, but like Like it's literally the fact like it's not even a, it's not even litter. It's not even like a joke kind of true, but you have a sense of humor a little bit, you know, that's why you're there, you know anyway <laughs> Let's go ahead and do my lower shadow now I'm gonna go back into the darker shade here and I'm really gonna focus the darker shadow on the outer portion of my lower last line last line lash line this is just to add a little bit of dimension and bring my eyes forward so let's say if i have a little bit on this side my eye looks more pronounced than this see it just kind of makes my eye look more open all right so real quickly i'm gonna do my eye stuff like my whites and my lashes and mascara i'll be right back and we're gonna try the lip product so while i'm doing that why don't you guys enjoy a clip of me using the cleansing oil for the first time and seeing how i like it all right so i took the majority of my makeup off now i'm gonna use the cleansing oil i'm just gonna take let's see uh one one pump because it's really liquidy you know because it is an oil it smells just fresh and clean it doesn't have like a overwhelming fragrance maybe slightly floral I'm going to go ahead and put it on my skin and start, you know, rinsing, washing with it. All right. So I would say, I know it was kind of hard to show you because I was like washing my face in the sink. It got a little like foamy on my skin, which was nice. So I could actually see where it was because, you know, the oil is clear. But once it's wet and lathery a little bit, you can kind of see it on your skin, which was nice. So I know where to rinse most of it off. Um, my face doesn't feel too stripped or anything, which is nice because sometimes it does feel like very dry and stripped. But it worked pretty well. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that clip. Hope I did too, since I'm filming that after this. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna do these lip glaze now. This is in shade 512. Again, velvety consistency, which, you know, I love. And again, kind of a red, which is gonna look nice with this, like soft, sort of warm eye look I have going on. Okay, guys, here's the lip color. It's bright, right? But I don't think it's too much because we have the lighter look. We have the lighter lashes going on. I think it's really cute. So here's my look up close. Oh, oh, piece of hair. And then the lip color. Very, very pretty. I wish my chair wasn't so squeaky. I'm sorry. That's a distraction. But anyways, let's talk about the products to try today. The face palettes. Oh, it's my favorite thing. It's my favorite thing. I know the eyeshadow palette's gorgeous too, but this is just so stunning. The contour worked out really well. The highlighter is so glassy and beautiful. The blush worked out really good too. I think it's a very nice universal color. The eyeshadow palette is also lovely, very pretty. I love a white shimmer on my lid that works out nice in that pop of blue. Again, even though it's a small pan, 
really eye-catching and I don't really know why that is just really beautiful color like very royal the lip velvet color we have on very comfortable like really doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything at all already dry to the lips even though underneath I do have a lip primer and this worked out really nicely too it made my lips feel moisturized it was very smooth a little bit more of a wet consistency but not sticky at all which was very nice because i cannot stand something sticky on my lips which is why i don't do lip gloss you guys i can't stand the stickiness this does not have it very nice moisture this on top still dried down beautiful nice color and overall i think everything's pretty the cleansing oil you know i don't know how i thought about it yet you guys let me know what I thought about it. And then also like the little lip scrub I thought was really cute. The lip balm in the pod I thought was really cute as well. Really nice. And like the little spatulas and stuff were really pretty. Just everything about this brand is just so aesthetically pleasing. You know? And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for, for working with me. Um... I'd love to work with you again because this was fun. Like, this is a fun type of video. I love just trying things. And when things are really pretty, I just want to touch them, you know? But thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like on this video if you don't mind. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Have a great and safe day wherever you are.